Hi everybody, welcome back to another Stoneforge gaming video. Today we are going to be taking a look at this uh, Dwarf King on a Bear. Um, this is a model from Skybore Miniatures. Uh, it is a resin model, um, one of their very uh, fine detailed uh, resin models. Um, they've got a really large dwarf uh, line and this is just one of the uh, one of the models there. I don't think on their site it's actually a Dwarf King, it's just one of the dwarf warriors on bear but i really liked them um overall um you can see that i painted up the bear um with some just very basic sort of grizzly bear looking um uh, sort of flesh to tones on the face there. Um, in the eyes, you can actually see I because of the fact that I wanted it to slowly just uh, really kind of look like you you couldn't really see the thing's eyes because it was so deep underneath that helmet. I just eventually layered on layer after layer of uh, black wash to the point where you couldn't really see uh, see the eyes in there anymore. Um, the claws and uh, fangs there I did up with a layer of dry brushes um, from just regular bone colors to whites. Um, uh, this is kind of a little weird part. Um, I didn't really realize what it was until um, it was I was painting it up and I realized it was a bear nut sack. So I guess do with that as you will. Um, the chainmail uh, there I just did with some very basic chainmail. I did a Reichlin flesh shade. Um, uh, wash on it and then dry brush it up. Um, all of the metallics here you can see um, are actually done with a variation of different um, uh, washes and layers and kind of blends a little bit on uh, Runefang steel. And I did it to where uh, the higher points are lighter, are much more lighter than the sort of edges where you can see it kind of blends to each side and it gets darker and darker. Not super dark, but enough to where you can see it from a distance. Um, and then I painted up the uh, the gold there, all the gold etching and gold highlighting um, just add, to add sort of those details. Now on their site, they have the, the these guys done up with the the solid gold I'm just not a huge fan of the solid gold I like the steel with the gold accents um, this was kind of an interesting thing the guy on the side uh, he has an orc head maybe some orc leader that he just chopped off the dude's head and has taken back a bounty or something um, but he's got this whole board into his head and put a rope through it which I thought was kind of cool I did my um, my normal blood effects on there um, and if you guys are interested I did do a video on uh, how I do my blood effects um the uh cloak there um i i painted up just with a standard sort of black up to white dry brush and then some washes in between um the uh the axe i did uh, a sem semi non-metallic metal it's not a true non-metallic metal but it's kind of along those lines um with a layer of um blends and then uh, a couple of layers of washes and the use of the uh null oil gloss wash which um games workshop now has um and so i i just kind of slowly over time built up those colors built up those highlights um until you get that sort of look where the metal looks just that ultra shine. Um, I did the same. You can see there where uh, you can see the shadows and then the uh, the the highlights there as you kind of build those up. Um, and then I did the same gold on the axe and on the dwarf's armor himself uh, as I did on the bear, just to kind of keep that same uh, look together. Um, now the dwarf himself, um, I painted up. He it mostly has the same colors as the bear, as far as the um, the metallics and the golds go. Um, I did uh, do a couple of layers on his. If it will focus for me, please focus. Thank you. Come on. Oh, this camera. I'm gonna need a new one. Um, anyways, uh, this uh, I. I sort of blended not really blended i just kind of layered his face uh because you don't really have all that much um really uh area to kind of work with so i just did a little bit here and there um you can see his clothing i did uh just sort of a high uh, high gray maybe a maybe a very light gray uh with the kind of edge highlighting of the white there um 
and then uh, some of these some of these fine details on the the uh, these Skyborn miniatures models they do kind of get away from you a little bit. You got to kind of be really really careful um, that you don't kind of overdo it with. You got to really thin your paints and make sure that you're getting just very very thin layers. Um, on his hands here, uh, you can see actually on the underside. Um, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, you can see that there. It kind of unfor it's kind of unfortunate that um, it kind of wraps around. It doesn't really look all that good on the underside. It just has. Uh, it's the way that the resin uh, works. Um, but it's it's fine from a distance. You can't really tell. Um, but overall, the, I think that it doesn't really detract too much from the model. Uh, I actually did the shield separately. I painted it up separately and then glued it on afterwards. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of um, distance there between the actual hand and the, the, the straps there. I could have done some green stuff. I just decided not to. It looks fine. Um, and again, on the shield, I did a very similar thing to on uh, how I did on the armor, um, where it kind of... Uh, fades a little bit. Um, the horns, I did my standard uh, dry brush um, up and then my layer of washes, um, Reichland Flesh Aid and Nuln Oil um, to kind of draw those uh, colors to that, that black at the very tip. Um, and then the cloak there, um, I did a uh, just a real light uh, layer of dry brushes and a couple of washes on it to make it a little more dim than say the, the Belgar Iron Hammer miniature that I did a while back um, so it doesn't necessarily look as magical um, but it, it just has a I don't know, kind of standard cloak look to it. Um, one of the big benefits of the Skyborn miniatures uh, models is that they have these awesome pre-sculpted bases that I think are really cool. Um, and you can see here it's got all this detail. All I didn't add any of this detail to it. I just painted it up right from the way it, the way it was um they've got these nice little plants on here that you can paint up um these little uh sort of hunks uh yeah you can see the bottom here it's it's all just solid resin um but you got these nice chunks of what looks like marble um i think i might do eventually do a gloss wash on it i'm not really sure but i just added some streaking for the marble in there but made it a little more subtle um than say the the black marble i've done before and then painted the actual stone like the big slab of stone up as just like a slab of granite or something uh, just a very basic sort of grayish um, sort of rock or whatever um, and that's for me a really cool uh, bonus to it all in all I really think this model turned out really well and I hope it has given you guys some ideas uh, for if you decide to pick up a couple of Skyboard miniatures yourselves thanks for watching the Stoneforge gaming video